Welcome back to Sports and Norse, everybody. And today we have supposed to be 20 chicken nuggets from Burger King and some fries. Um, we're going to eat a little and then I'm going to get into what we're going to talk about today. I have some ranch for the dipping. It's mm. good. So, if you're new to my channel or our channel, um. For Black History Month, so for the month of February, I'm going to be talking about African American inventors, politicians, or whatever that we didn't quite go over in a normal everyday history class. As in always, I'm not going to read everything because if you want to read more, link in the description. Okay. So, I'll put Elizabeth Jennings' photo up so we have a face to the name. Okay, so it says, Elizabeth Jennings was born in New York City. To Thomas and Elizabeth Jennings in 1826. So it says, like her father, Elizabeth Jennings was involved in many social and religious organizations, most prominently as a church organist. She was on her way to church to play the organ on July 16th, 1854 when she tried to board a streetcar of the 3rd Avenue Railway Company, which at the time did not allow African Americans as passengers. At first she was given permission to ride the streetcar as long as the other passengers didn't complain but was forcibly evicted as soon as the conductor found a policeman to help him throw her off the free car. Graham's forcible removal from the streetcar because of her race caused a massive protest against the streetcar company by members of the New York African American community and others who felt she was unfairly treated. Support for the protest came from across the country, including from as far as San Francisco. Elizabeth's father, Thomas Jennings, hired an attorney and future president, Chester A. Arthur, to sue the Third Avenue Railway Company on his daughter's behalf. At the time, New York City and New York State had no laws regarding segregation on streetcars. Consequently, the court that it had been illegal to forcibly evict Graham solely because she was African American and awarded her $225 in damages. Her cause 
itself did not lead to total desegregation of all streetcar lines, but it did set a precedent for future trials. So, about a hundred years before Rosa Parks and the bus situation happened, Elizabeth Jennings basically had kind of the same experience. I just find that so fascinating. Like, history, when you look at it often enough, has a weird way of like repeating itself. Especially when people don't learn from past histories. It's just so crazy that we didn't learn about this woman in school, which I think we should have. I'm not sure this was exactly 20 nuggets. I didn't count them. It was supposed to be. Maybe I'm just plowing through them. What do you guys think? My previous one was about Elizabeth's father. Do you think she was brave? Stand up for herself? I do. Couldn't have been easy. Even if she was in New York. Which was a little bit more progressive, but being more progressive and being and actually being progressive are two different things. You know? I know. Race is a hot button issue, but I don't think learning about important African American figures should be. I think it should be taught, and I don't think there should be any kind of backlash or anything. I think in a different video, my sister said something about the inventor of peanut butter being African American. I don't know if I'm going to do a uh, <coughs> video on him. I might. I like stories like this that I've never actually even heard before. Stories that make you think. Like, if she had never been thrown off the streetcar, how long would it have taken 
them to modernize it. You know what I mean? Another year? Ten years? Another 200? Like what? going two at a time. I should have ketchup. I don't think about it. Who likes ketchup? Raise their hand. Mm. I'm getting super full. Mm. Twenty nuggets. I'm down to two. Should I double these nuggets up? Yes, I should. Like I said, if you want to know more about Elizabeth Jennings, I'll leave a couple articles where you can read about her in the description. I am full. Comment, share, subscribe. Share this with your friends. And uh, we'll be back with the next one tomorrow. Bye.